All right. Three, two, <laughs> go for it. Right, double checking. You're so paranoid. Yeah. <clears throat> there you go. <clears throat> God, the cedar is killing me. Hey, friends. Check out this sparkly snowflake I made. Isn't it going to look nice hanging in a window or from a holiday tree? Let me show you how I made it. So for this science activity, we're going to need some very hot water. We'll need borax. You're going to want a clean jar and something to stir with, some pipe cleaner, and like a pencil or like a popsicle stick or something to suspend your, your snowflake from. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is ask a grown-up to be your lab assistant. So you're going to have them cut a pipe cleaner into a couple of pieces about two to three inches long. <clears throat> and then you will take those pieces, twist them around each other, and you'll take your long piece that's left and twist that around the bits that you've got twisted together already. So now, theoretically, you have a six-sided, a hexagonal six-sided star shape. Uh, I went with six-sided because uh, snowflakes or water crystals are hexagonal in structure. That means they have six sides, six points, and pretty much all snowflakes have six sides unless they're not quite to the flake or the pretty lacy stage. Uh, the next thing you'll do is grab your jar and ask your lab assistant to fill it with very hot water. I have an electric kettle here, but you could also heat it on the stove or in the microwave. Just be really careful because I don't want you guys to get burned. That would be bad. I would feel awful. So we're going to wait for this to boil. It shouldn't take long. These things work really pretty fast. I have a question. Yes. Where is the best place to buy Borax? Borax you can get at pretty much any store. You can get it at HEB, at Walmart, at Target. Uh, it pretty much covers it. What is Borax? It. So Borax is a crystalline solid, which means it has molecules that are... Mm, where's the description? It's, its molecules are tightly bound together in a regular geometric pattern. And that's a crystalline, um, crystalline solid as opposed to an amorphous solid, which also has atoms tightly bound together, but not in any specific shape or pattern. So that's like peanut butter or plastic or rubber, stuff like that. So you're saying I could put borax on my cereal? No. Oh. Do not put borax on your cereal. Don't put borax on your cereal. Why would you say that? Well, because it looks so good. It looks like sugar. It does. <laughs> it does, and uh, it does look like sugar, and sugar and salt are actually also crystalline solids, and we'll talk about those later. I heard a rumor that you can make slime out of borax. You can, and probably you guys at home know how to make it better than me, because I never make very good slime. So that's what, borax and glue and water mm -hmm. and food coloring. Oh yeah, food coloring. You can also color these crystals. Just put a little food coloring or watercolor paint or ink or whatever else. Just something water soluble that's colored in the water. So while we're waiting for that, we're going to make sure that our snowflake fits inside our jar. It doesn't touch any of the sides. And this is a little bit irregular, so I'm going to trim it. And by irregular, I mean it's not a perfect six-sided star. So you want to make sure it fits inside your jar and that you can suspend it in the water that we're going to have in there in a minute without it touching any of the sides or the bottom of the jar. <clears throat> so we'll take our side, pick up all my little pieces of pipe cleaner. Try not to knock things over. Any minute now. I hear a noise coming out of it. Yes, it's just a 
about to boiling. It's almost ready. I'm gonna set this aside so it doesn't get damaged. And why don't I go ahead and put a little bit of borax in this jar before we put the hot water in. I'm gonna make sure to put some paper towels down so I can clean up easily because this is dusty. It, gets, it kinda gets everywhere. <clears throat> start with about maybe a quarter inch to a half inch of borax in the bottom of this jar. About that much. Oh man, I did make a mess. You know what? I almost forgot a step. You're also, you want to take your pencil or popsicle stick <laughs> and twist the loose end of your snowflake shape around it so that you can suspend it in the jar, like so. Oh, that would make it a lot easier. Yes, thank you. Just holding it for several hours. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to take our hot water. Have your lab assistant carefully pour it into the jar. And then stir until all of it dissolves. And you're probably gonna have to cut this part out. No, it's alright, I like seeing that. It takes a little bit. Okay, so that's pretty much dissolved, so we're gonna add some more. And you are going to continue adding borax and stirring until it stops dissolving. And you'll know when it's time to stop because you'll see a little bit of borax at the bottom just stubbornly refusing to dissolve. And that won't, it'll just kind of like go in circles, it won't do anything. It'll just sit there. And you can use the microwave to reheat this once or twice if you need to because hot water holds more borax than cold water. And that is because the molecules in hot water are further apart than they are in cold water, so there's more room. There's more room for the borax. Okay, I think we can add a little more. Yeah. How much borax do you think you put in there? Probably like a cup. This is probably at least half a cup so far. And I've heard some people use three tablespoons per cup okay. of water. Here it cannot decide which side it wants to be on. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Problem. It's driving me crazy. Okay, I think we are about at capacity as far as borax goes. Scooch these aside. Perfect. 
Thanks. This is my lab assistant, Orlando. Would you like to say hi? Hi. You don't want to? No, I don't want to bother. Okay. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't want to be on I'm camera. I'm camera shy. But he says hi. He knows Stripey the pirate. Oh, yeah. Well, he's back over there hanging out. Is he? Yeah. What's that, Stripey? Can I trade some of that Forex? No, Stripey. Oh. Okay, so what's the next step? So we have our Borax water, which is very hot, so be careful. And the next step is basically just put this inside the Borax solution. And just put it somewhere safe, somewhere where it's not going to be disturbed for at least two hours, up to a day, depending on how long you want to let it soak. Uh, make sure you check on it every once in a while to see how the crystals are growing. Uh, it should, it sh you should start seeing some crystal formation pretty quickly. <laughs> and because I'm using the, the temperature sensitive pencil, it's turning pink. That's fun. I love these pencils. <clears throat> That's extra fun. It is extra fun. Yeah. So just make sure that none of the points on the snowflake shape are touching the sides because that's going to interfere with your crystal growth. So in a couple hours to a day, you should have something that looks like this. So once you have that crystal, you're going to take it out, just kind of pat it dry with some paper towel, and then you'll have a long tail like this that we talked about. And you're just going to twist that, continue wrapping it around your pencil or whatever you have it suspended from until you have like a little loop like that. Like this one on, on my crystallized snowflake. And you can take some string, put it through the loop, and then hang it somewhere, anywhere you like. I think it would look really pretty in a window, don't you? I think it would look great on a tree. I think so too. You could do a bunch of them and put them on the tree. That would look awesome. What if I got several jars and I had <laughs> maybe like two boxes of borax? Mm -hmm. Would I be able to make a whole bunch of these at the same time? You could. You could you could assembly line it like that, and you could also use those extra jars to do this as an experiment and not just as a demonstration. So some other ways you can experiment, so let me talk about the multiple jars. So if you have multiple jars with the same uh, borax to water ratio, you can start them all around the same time and then take them out at different time intervals, like 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, 24 hours, and then compare how much crystal formation you have. That's cool, huh? Yeah. And you can kind of track its rate of growth. What's the word that you like to use? Variables! We love variables, and that's what makes this an experiment and not just a demonstration. Let's see, so this happens because, as, a, as I said, borax is a crystalline solid. Um, <clears throat> so it's got that crystalline structure already that makes it form those pretty shapes. And so when you, when you mix the borax with the water, you create a solution. And when you mix that much borax in that little water, you create a super saturated solution. And as it cools, remember how I said that hot water holds more borax than cold? So as it cools, that borax has to go somewhere. And since you put your snowflake shape inside, that's sort of like a scaffold or a seed. It's, it's just some kind of like, it's a base for crystals to grow on. So that's where it grows. And that's why you wanna make sure that your, your snowflake isn't touching the sides because you'll get some weird shaped crystals. Uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, there's more borax molecules in there than the water can really hold, so they, that's, they stick together and that's what makes the crystals. And you wind up with a pretty sparkly snowflake. Okay, so we talked about multiple jars. So some other things you can experiment with are sugar and salt, and you can compare how quickly or how slowly those form the same amount of crystals as the borax. You can... What about food coloring? You can see if different food colorings have an effect and those will also color your crystals. You can also try starting with the boiling water like we just did or very hot water from the tap and see which one works better. Let me see, make sure I didn't miss anything. Yep, that's about it. It's 
so exciting. I just want to make sure that I give you guys as much information as possible. Well, I, um, I'm going to have a hard time with these because they look too much like rock candy. They do. They do. But don't eat them. If you do the experiment with sugar, you can eat that one. But don't eat this one. <laughs> how, late, how long do you think that crystal will last? This crystal? Uh, honestly, it depends on humidity. So if you want it to last a long time, you can put it in an airtight jar with a desiccant, meaning something that keeps things dry. And uh, if, have you ever seen those little silica gel packets that come inside like shoe boxes or new purses, stuff like that? That's another thing I can't eat. Yes, don't eat that. But that's a desiccant, so you can put this in the jar or whatever airtight container you're using with the silica packets and it should keep it pretty pretty well preserved for a while but if it's kind of humid that's going to make the boron the borax crystals kind of dissolve and not look as good you know it won't last as long but that just about covers what i have for you guys today so i hope you have as much fun as i have um, i did this for the first time yesterday and it was so exciting so go out do science use variables Question everything. No, don't question everything. <laughs> but, you know. Question only things that need to be questioned. <laughs> Is there question something happens? you could paint the snowflake with? You could probably... Like a, a highlighter. An acrylic or some kind of you might, Yeah, you might be able to use like Mod Podge or something. That's a great suggestion, Miss Kara. Uh, so you can use uh, Mod Podge. I've seen people on YouTube making... Um, alum crystals and sealing it with clear nail polish. So that's something you could try. That's also another thing you could experiment with. I would try Same with a highlighter. A highlighter? Yeah, since it retains, um, oh, you know, translucence. You know what? Idea that I just thought of. What? You said highlighter. Mm -hmm. Remember the highlighter water from the pumpkin, the puking pumpkin? Yes. I bet you could make a fluorescent borax crystal. Yeah. Go try that. Bye.